NSIC tournament, UMD falls unfortunately to number 11 Northern State. We're here with head coach Matt Bowen. And coach, you guys came out with a solid game plan early on. And just like good teams do, they find a way to counter it and pull out a victory. And I see what happened today. Just kind of your thoughts on uh, today's game. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, first of all, I thought Sean Burns did exactly what we wanted him to do. Um, I thought we had a good match up there and he would have to attack and have a big game. Uh, the second part of that is we were going to have to shoot well from three. Um, if we could get Sean going and then hopefully get them to help in or spread the floor to allow us to shoot well from three, um, I thought that would give us a good opportunity. We got the first half done with Sean. Uh, they didn't collapse near as well as I, I thought they would, and we just didn't have the three-point opportunities or the three-point makes in, in a consistent amount enough to, uh, to make this game a different. But I, I thought our kids battled really hard. Um, you know, give credit to Northern. They're, they're ranked and they've won uh, the league, and you can see why. They, had, they got a nice team. And speaking of just Burns, was that kind of the game plan for the most part, was just to have him go at it and at it? I mean, you guys just seem to keep feeding him. And they were, yeah. they, I mean, maybe that's part of their game plan too, is just to limit your outside shooting and just let, let one man do all the work because they seem to be trading two for threes. Well, in our, in our ball screen action, they just refused to guard Sean out on the perimeter uh, because of his, his shooting touch or lack thereof. But uh, against, against the uh, two 6'10 kids, Sean being 6'5", being a little bit more athletic, if we could get him to face up and attack them, uh, we thought that he'd have a good match up there. So we did that. Um, we just didn't get the kick outs. We didn't get the, the, the secondary actions off of that that I thought we'd get. Um, but, but I thought Sean did a mar marvelous job, made, uh, made their life difficult in, in that area, you know, really facing up and attacking and, and, and made some really nice plays. We just, uh, we just didn't have enough from the perimeter to, to really make a difference. And defensively, you guys did okay. It's just Northern State tend to move the ball really well and found the open look. What did they do so well to just kind of keep your defense in check? You know, the thing that they do probably better than anything else is they rebound the ball. I thought we had some really good possessions. Obviously, we played zone the entire game. I thought we had some really good possessions that gave them second chances, you know, less than 10 seconds into the shot clock uh, or 10 seconds remaining into the shot clock where they get a second chance point, and that, that really hurt us. Um, they shot low 30% from three. They had over half their shots from three, so that really wasn't, uh, that was what we wanted to have happen. Uh, but I just thought we gave up too many offensive rebounds. In, in tough situations, and that, that's not only demoralizing for us, but that gives the other team a little bit of energy, and I uh, thought that was, a, from a defensive standpoint, a big difference in the game. And then, uh, I know you've talked about it a lot, but from last season to this season, just a phenomenal improvement, you tripled your guys' win production, and you made some noise in the NSSA tournament, and you definitely gave Northern State a little bit of the run for the money. Just kind of, just a quick reflection on the season, how you view it. It's a step in the right direction. Um, we're, we're nowhere near where we want to be, but I, I hope people can see that um, this, this group has a very bright future. Um, I, I think saying that at the end of last year, people would have called me crazy. I, I was wondering a little bit myself, but we, we have a nice basketball team. We're just a little beat up and a little too young to make a difference in the, in the upper level games like this, but we will get there very soon. Um, you know, having a period where we had three seniors over a two-year deal is really hard to, uh, to do nothing else but just keep working and keep, keep getting every day a little bit better, and I think this team has done that, and I, I'm fully confident in the next couple of years we're going to see the rewards of us having an older, more experienced group. And the rewards of that are, are your two seniors. They have been professionals along the way, showed amounts of leadership, and kind of guided your younger team. I know you said this again, but what what do your two seniors, Wilson Shallow, mean to this program? Uh, they, they've they've done a great job of helping us get to that next level, if there is, from being a bad team to just becoming at least a better team. Um, their roles changed a little bit this year, and they changed uh, again throughout the season. And they were nothing but professionals the entire time, as far as team first, making sure that that you know they were buying into the process of let's just continue to improve, let's continue to get better, uh, fully knowing that you know we probably weren't going to win a championship this year with the young team, but if they could lay the foundation for future years ahead that we'd probably have a good shot. And 
that's a real selfless act in their in their regard. And I, I you know I hope we can pull it out in the next couple of years as we continue to get older and we can look back and say that's something that Kyle and Willie did to to kind of set that foundation. All right, thank you, coach, and congratulations on the season. Thank you.